The miser lives for the joy gold gives and the farmer for his field. The lover prays for a pretty face and the beggar for a meal. But you and I know our hearts cry for bold adventures deeds. So come, come along and, and sing a song and let's see where it leads. Hey, hello, hello. Yeah. We are back again. Um, so tonight we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, we left everything in a very suspenseful moment on the Dark Light campaign last week, but a couple of our players couldn't be here. So this week we're trying something a little bit new. So what I did is I made a little campaign and I made some characters and our actors tonight had to actually roll a number or choose a number and had a character assigned to them. So they didn't have to choose these characters, but they do have to play them. So like all good adventures, tonight's adventure starts at a tavern because it always starts at a tavern. And I'm going to introduce our characters as they begin sitting in the tavern. You know, we're going to start with Dammit. Dammit, you have been living a long, hard life. I mean, you were, you were in the military for a long time. You've been, you know, it seems like everywhere you've gone, there's been fighting. And finally, you've, you've entered a monastery, or what you thought was a monastery, and they taught you lots of cool things, and then you found out, no, it's not a monastery. It's actually a bandit troop, a really free-thinking bandit troop with some great ideas about sightless combat. Um, unfortunately, on one of those expeditions that you did with the bandits, I mean, because you were already there, might as well just hang with the bandits, um, there was a mutiny kind of a thing. And... Uh, Everybody who stood with the bandit leader, which included you, uh, got attacked and blinded. Well, you assume the others were blinded. You were definitely blinded. You lost both eyes in that. And you know what? That bandit leader, he didn't defend you. What a dick. Yeah, what a dick indeed. And so when you killed him, his last words were, Damn it! And that's what you've been known as ever since. Now... Life as a blind bandit is hard. You know, it's not great. It's it's full of lots of dark things. Well, I'm being blind, especially dark things. Um, it's full of disappointment, lots of disappointment. And you found, found yourself a little bitter. And finally you were like, you know what, I'm just at the end. What do I do? What do I do? And you picked up a bow for the first time since that whole bandit fiasco. And you picked up a sword and you decided, you know what? I'm going to be an adventurer. And you have just barely started on this new path in your life. You're no stranger to fighting, but this is different. This is being an adventurer. And so with the title fighter emblazoned in your brain, or maybe on your bandage, who knows, you've taken off to the world. But the problem with being a blind fighter is that most of the signs that, you know, tell you where you're going don't have any way for a blind person to read them so you've just been kind of wandering and falling in and out of things there was a pig fiasco a while back um, pigs are mean you learned that the hard way um, there was the uh, the old lady fiasco a while ago too um, old ladies are also mean who knew um, and finally finally it's been kind of cold you're wet you're hungry, and you can hear the sounds of laughter and music, poorly done music, but music coming from up ahead of you. And you know, in your mind, that speaks in, you know, laughter and music and stuff. Maybe it's just a birthday party or a bar mitzvah, who knows, <laughs> but probably it's an inn. A free cake, you know, wherever I'm going. Mm-hmm. So, uh... You kind of make your way there. And as you get closer, you realize that you've been alone a long time and you miss people. And that's where we're going to go on to the next character. All right. Uh, F you.
You rang? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, half-orc clerics don't generally get good press, you know, and a lot of that reason was maybe because of you. Now, before this, you were just a proselyter. You were just, you know, for the great god Pico, you know, the god of war, the god of violence, Pico. So what if it's a stupid name? You call him stupid. I'm going to punch you in the face. That's kind of been your, your place. And finally, the, the clerics at the temple, they threw you out because you were just scaring away too many worshipers. So, you know... They kind of they just got, didn't understand they what didn't Pico understand. demands. Exactly, exactly. And so as you as you, you headed out into the wilderness and the wide world, away from the big temple where you had been proselyting for so long, Pico spoke to you. At least, you know, you think it, may, it could have been the alcohol. Maybe I didn't sleep right last night. Mm, Maybe, or what, uh, but Pico spoke to you and, and, and now... Now you're a cleric. You're a cleric of Pico. A cleric of the God of War. Um, and, you know, it feels good. It feels right that now you have a little bit of authority to back up your, your you know, proselyting. And that would have gone great. You know, it's been a little while since you, you, you realized that you really spoke with God's words in your mouth. But uh, you have a weakness. <laughs> you have a weakness, and that's that's gotten you kicked out of literally every town that you started preaching in. And, uh, I mean, what can you say? You're a fine figure of a woman, you know, a half-work. You're, you're, you've got God on your side. You know, you've got that glowing greenish-gray skin that is just so right that it just draws the boys to the yard. And you have a heart. You have a fist made for war and a heart made for love and romance has always been what got you in trouble well not always because sometimes it's that you punch the wrong person but from your perspective romance has been the problem finally your heart broken from your last unhappy love you've wandered into the plains of nowhere there it's just like nothing around and in the distance there there was a building and horses outside there and you know what that means that means it's a tavern and you headed that direction because the drink will heal what everything ails me. Mm -hmm. the ale will heal what ails me there you mm -hmm. go yeah and for that pun i banish you <laughs> <laughs> we go to, and we go to stoner stoner I'm coming, I'm coming. There we go. Doing good. All right, Stoner. Your life was in the mountains. In the cold and the sleet and the stone with your Goliath brethren. Life is very harsh up there. It's just you guys and the mountain sheep and the whistling wind and sleet. And, you know, before this, you were a pretty good hunter with your group, your clan. You know, you were pretty good with a lot of things. But then, one night on the mountain, not too long ago, actually, you were listening and you heard, you heard the wind. And the wind was just blowing through the rocks. And it sounded so beautiful. It was like music. And that's when your heart discovered music. And you went back to your town and you picked up the nearest things that you could find to craft together a rudimentary instrument. And you started to try and mimic that sound. And, you know, the very next day they threw you out because that was so bad. Uh, the instrument that you inadvertently tried to create was something somewhat like a bagpipe, which is not known for its subtlety and its wind-like qualities. Um, but, you know... Perfect. Now you know music. So you've been wandering for a little while, trying to learn your craft, practicing with this homemade instrument that you've done. Yeah, you've got drums, and of course everybody, all the Goliaths play drums, rocks, and it's great. But the wind, the wind is great. And you started performing at some camps, and sometimes they were like, boo, boo, get it, you know, they throw you out. But sometimes, there was one time, where they were like, oh, that's wonderful, and there was applause, and your 
big giant Goliath heart realized that performance was his calling. But the life of a traveling bard is a lonely one, especially a brand new bard. And, uh, and you've been kind of lost out here in the plains. You're used to mountains for a long time. And there's just like nothing for miles. It's, it's horrifying how just empty and flat it is until finally, finally you saw a building up ahead. And just as the night was falling, you could see the light spilling out. And you could hear in the distance the sound of voices and you realized here was your next audience. All right. Absolutely. Now we're going to go to Roberts, our last player for this evening. Oh, Roberts. Sorry. There we go. Sorry. Technical difficulties. I'm here. Okay. I am Roberts and I am here. You are Roberts and you are here. Yes. Okay. Roberts, who is here? Hang on. What the hell is this doing? All right. Well, it's fine. Technology. It's fine. It'll be fine. Roberts, you're angry. Just like oh. I'm angry right now at my computer. You were angry because you know what? You were a pirate. You were the dread pirate. Roberts. Everybody knew your name on the high seas. You commanded armies for a minute. And and life was, was great. You know, bored. There's nothing like boarding a, a ship and and running your your saber through somebody while your men scream around you and the people scream not the dread pirate roberts you know and the smell of the spray in your face as your ship cuts the waves and you loved it and you knew you were famous and you knew you were the most terrifying pirate in the world until your men mutinied why would they do such a thing? You know, they said that they just needed a better leader, but you, it, it couldn't possibly be the truth. Anyway, they mutinied. They put you on a plank, set the plank afloat in the, in the ocean, and your trusty parrot went with you, thank God. Aw, parrots, my parrots. But you, and they left you to go to die at sea. And oh. it wasn't even a very big plank, but because they said, you know, you're not very big. Now, you happen to know that you can't judge a book by its cover and that you are a lot bigger in your personality and your abilities than you are in perhaps your stature. I mean, hobbits are not normally known as pirates. It's not the size that counts. It's what you do with it. That's right. So you, you floated on the sea. You started, you know, you would have died. You would have died because there was no water. There was no food. You managed to catch a fish and you drank its blood and that kept you going and they caught another fish and you drank its blood and you finally made it to land and this land by the ocean was really cool and really beautiful but the people there just didn't understand you you kept trying to command them around and they wouldn't listen it was just awful and so finally they drove you away from the ocean and inland and now you've been wandering in this long flat god forsaken plain forever it feels like it's been at least two days mm -hmm. um you're just not very happy your your parrot is complaining he's swearing at you a lot what is your parrot's name by the way parrot parrot okay yeah. you are very literal <laughs> and finally finally you're you're about ready to just pass out from thirst and hunger and not really but you know you have that moment of drama drama for a second as you sure. you realize you. that off in the distance you do see a tavern ah! and if there's something a pirate likes it's, it's a, a tavern. tavern and you head that direction their beer is all mine all right and now we gather all of our our group together <laughs> and as you know, the name of this campaign is, it always begins at the tavern, because it always does. And in this case, that is in a very literal way. As the tavern, there's music, there's, there's dancing, there's, there's things. And as you guys get closer, you start to see each other coming from all the different directions about the same time. Um, and you realize that the sign says the name of the tavern. And the name, and I'm going to speak to our viewers here, uh, 
there is a friend of mine who was one of my earliest GMs who's having a very hard time physically right now. And so for this campaign, I have used some of his ideas as a tribute to Eric Ladd and the wonderful games that he Aww. used to run for us. The name Aww. of this inn is the Look What the Cat Dragged In. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. That's good. And, and yeah. at the end, looks a lot like something the cat dragged in as you get there. I mean, the it's not been painted for any Those prairie winds have clearly scoured every last bit of beauty off of the exterior, but it looks kind of sound and warm and dry, and there's got to be food. There's got to be drink and stuff. So if they have ale, I'm in. Right. Huh. Mm. huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, damn it. You got there first. Mm. And uh, you can feel where the door is in front of you and the warmth of firelight spilling out at you and the sound and the smell of food. It's great. What do you do? Um, I, just, I reach out my hand toward uh, where maybe a hostess or somebody would be. Um, and if nobody responds... What's a girl got to do to get a seat in this joint? Okay. You hear a voice off to your left, a big kind of a booming voice. Is this, hey, dog, go help that person over there. Looks like they got a problem. And after a moment, you're, hey, baby, come here, come this way. Somebody grabs your arm. They're a little bit taller than you. And they, they lead you off. Toward, to the side, to the side, and then to a little bit quieter side. And you realize that they're probably putting you kind of towards the back in the shadows because you look different or something. Who knows? Who knows? But they do, okay. they, do, they do sit you. She does sit you down. Um, and, you know, her grip was pretty strong. You know, the, the voice sounded at least moderately human um, or humanoid uh, but she she sits you down and you can hear around you the chattering of voices it sounds like it's a pretty full place tonight um, there's a little bit of music kind of desultorily going on in the corner now although it seems like they've gotten to the to their break and so it's just like a little bit of plucking uh, and the sounds of gurgling so they're probably the musicians are probably drinking or something or musician depending um, or they're being drowned, you know. Yeah, that maybe. could be too, and stuff. Good so, uh, so what, what can I get you, lady? I'll have an ale, whatever your finest food is here. You got some coin. You don't look like you got some coin. Um, I reach into my little satchel and pull out a smaller one and just put it, thunk it down on the on the table. Okay. Um, and then. Just half a second, it's there, and then it's just suddenly gone. Mm -hmm. Just whoop. Mm -hmm. Shake. All right. All right. Well, what what we got on today is mutton stew. So that's all we got. We got nothing fancier for any fancy pants. So, and her oh. voice, and this is just going over as, as her voice is like going off into the distance. When you hear, you know, the sounds of a small scuffle off to the left, maybe closer you know as you figured out from where you came in closer by where the door might be and you hear more voices chattering over there about god knows what and some actually some voices chattering here next to you how much are you listening to the chatter around you well so i've made it a point uh regardless of whether or not anybody else notices to take the seat and kind of slide it so that i am facing the wall mm -hmm. um mostly because i can hear it all you're better mm -hmm. um yeah, and I, I'm just kind of listening for, you know, what's the scuffle about? What, a, what are the travelers doing? Is there coin to be made? Just kind of general tavern awareness. Cool. All right. Um, definitely one of the tables right next to you is talking about, um, with, with voices of fear, that there's something um, that is attacking travelers near here which has been a problem mm -hmm. and they don't know what it is 
you know, it's just that, you know, this other wagon went missing. We saw them back at the town and then they didn't make it here. You know, that kind of thing. And then you hear a, a slam as uh, F you, you arrive. <laughs> okay, what do you do, F you? She's going to... Sorry, I love the name. I know. It's, it's hilarious. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, she's going to, like, duck you through the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, six, seven. <laughs> she's uh, a little big. She's a big young lady. Uh, and um, she is going to just sort of, like, stand in the doorway for a second, sort of look around. All right. The very... Eyes. Yeah, it's the tavern is actually pretty full. I mean, it makes sense because it's a little like nearsighted. The Just only nice. thing around for miles, so it is actually pretty full. Um, it's filled with a, an interesting group of people that all different kind of races and you know genders. They all look pretty unilaterally either rough or peasant-like. Okay. Um, the the waitress that's you know there's there's a a big hulking guy mm -hmm. behind the bar who's very for want of a better word fat okay. he's very fat but he seems kind of like he should be jolly but he's not jolly you know but he's got the 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 whole like jolly thing and and he's got he's got a flower tucked in his you know rough little vest and stuff and he's shouting orders around and that to the waitress um are you assuming she's the waitress because that's who he's shouting at and she is he keeps calling her dog and when you look at her you realize that she is actually a knoll so okay. that you know makes at least some sense okay and and mm. he gestures at you and it's like dog help to no one and she comes over and says all right what do you want ale and a table well like, we only got one kind of table left so you don't have any choices come and follow me and she like grabs your shoulder like completely okay. unafraid and leads you to a table where there is a rather slender person who is strangely enough sat facing the wall okay. and she she slumps her hand down on the table and says all right yeah got some company because we don't got enough space tonight Welcome. Hello. Are you drinking? Always. Are you? Yeah. Well, then we'll get along. What are you drinking? <laughs> well, I was informed this wasn't a place that had any kind of fancy option, so I assume whatever she brings. Ale? Ale will do nicely. What was your name? I'm F. F. Nice to meet you. And you are? Damn it. Sounds about right. <laughs> and at that moment, Rob, you finally get to the door. Yeah. How does Stoner enter the tavern? I'm just going to walk my happy butt through the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amazing. Airboy, <laughs> and fire, who's ever is in charge, and go for them. And start uh, playing my bagpipes. Okay. <laughs> Great. Uh, the there's yeah. the the voices near the door go silent for a moment. For you two at the table, mm -hmm. and you look in and you see this eight foot tall gray being. Ooh, if I had a duck. <laughs> mm -hmm. he is, the roof is too short for him, so he's actually like this all the time, and he yeah. looks around. Rob, what you see is at the bar, a, a very heavy set uh, man shouting orders at the, the Knoll waitress with a, a flower in the, you think it would be a lapel, but it's not. It's actually like a hole in his vest, like somebody tried to stab him at some point or something. Um, so clearly he seems to be the only person in charge tonight. So is that who you go up to? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, what do you do? I'm going to look at him and go, more if I play a little jig. It's like, so long as I don't have to pay you. Mm, you'll pay me. And then I'm just going to start playing. 
<laughs> bagpipes and the soothing sound of poorly played bagpipes oh, yeah. fills the tavern. Yeah, That's yeah, just yeah. the confidence on this man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll pay me. You'll pay me. Uh, to you get you to stop. Play, you'll pay me to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and you start playing and yeah, play. all right uh rob you need to roll me a performance check oh, amazing i have mixed feelings on how i want this goal to come out <laughs> we all do. oh no guys it wasn't that bad Yes! <laughs> I swear to God, like I can, yes. I can show you. It's a no. Net this is what we it's want in our life. so bad. It's so bad. It's like <laughs> I can't even do the sounds. Um, your people's ears are starting to bleed. All of a sudden, three or four people near the door lunge for the door to get out. Oh my God! Make him stop! You know they're screaming. The actual musician was there is looking at you, like what the hell. <laughs> but you don't stop, do you? Absolutely not. I think right. people are going to need I'm, more drink. I was I was born for this. They don't understand. <laughs> and so the other musician, nobody understands. The me. actually oh. good musician, um, is like, as I rolled, he picks up his lute and he starts playing along, and he's good enough to actually match you a little bit, and it's terrible, and it's wonderful. But it's terrible. But it's wonderful. And it, this oh, is where Shauna, you arrive. All right. So this this little very short, even for halfling, halfling comes kicking in the door. I <sighs> fucking drink. I'm gonna die. I need it right now. I am the dread pirate Roberts, and you better fucking give me a drink, or I'll kill you all. Everybody uh, uh, near the door, there were like three people that were trying to leave to get away from the music, and they look at you. <laughs> they start laughing. I'm going to punch one of them in the face. Okay. <laughs> I like the cut of her jib. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you'll notice that she also has a parrot. On her shoulder, and as she takes the punch, whether it hits or not, the parrot squeaks, "Fuck you all!" and takes <laughs> fleeing up into the rafters <laughs> and begins shouting obscenities oh. down at the crowd. An educated <laughs> parrot, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, if a brawl is about to break out, I have an idea, but I'm not going to do it unless a brawl breaks out. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Shauna, um, that was an 18 to hit. Oh, wow. Okay. You do hit the guy. One of the guys. I mean, there was a bunch of a lot of you. You hit one of them. The one that's closest. Solid smack. Roll your damage. All right. All right. All right. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. That is a four. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not armed. <laughs> it's my little teeny. <laughs> All righty. It's a try. He, he, he stops for a moment in shock and says, you hit me, you little pipsqueak! I'm gonna wipe the floor with ya! You can tell he's been drinking as he breathes. The scent of very bad ale just comes like oozing out over your face. And he takes a swing at you. Oh, it's getting fun. Yep. And what is your AC? 16. <laughs> it's what? 16. 16, okay. He rolled a 12. So he swings at you, but in drunken, he misses. And he's like, of course. But at this point, over at the table, uh, the waitress, who's paying no attention to the fight going on at the door, comes down and slams down two mugs. The, the ale kind of spills out on the table. And she says, all right, there you go. It's a copper each. Um, I'll pay for both of them. She'll she'll put the two copper on the table. I got this. Um, I'm happy. There's a fight going on. This is a good tavern. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and you're welcome. At the end of it's a good tavern. This is when I was. Uh, I take one of my daggers. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Best earrings ever. <laughs> Fling it behind my back with the intention of it landing at the feet directly between the brawl that's happening. Okay, roll to hit. 
This is the intention. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty great. Okay, it's a 15 on the die. What am I adding to this? Mm. Is it dexterity? Mm -hmm. so that'd be a 19. All right. So this elf, this short little wood elf wearing uh, the bandage over her eyes, she turns. No, throws, no. No? It's over just over my shoulder. Over her shoulder, she throws her knife. Nice. And you have never seen anything like this. It, it, it goes flying over her shoulder and over end, and then ping, lands right where it's supposed to, right where you wanted it to between the two. And now I turn around. Dread Pirate Roberts. Yes? Grab my dagger and come join us over here. Is there is there something alcoholic? We can get you one. Just raise up my... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm uh, coming. Let me drink. <laughs> <laughs> I pick up the dagger. So, Rob. Yep. Roll me a perception check. Uh-oh. Okay. Got well eight. done, Dread Pirate. 18 plus... Okay. You do notice what that wood elf oh. just did, and it was actually quite impressive. Um, and uh, and you notice that the the noisy little hobbit who is, who's like totally throwing you off your groove <laughs> has gone over to the table and where there's a very tall half orc woman as well so it's it's a it's a ladies table over there oh well, I might ladies have a, table <laughs> well, well, I might here. have to go introduce myself <laughs> no yeah, sorry I'm just kidding you can't tell if Roberts is a girl or, or, a, or a boy you know yeah sure so I'm hard to tell further okay. notice Dread Pirate Roberts they them <laughs> okay uh -huh. <laughs> we got it cool so Shauna, you go over to the table. All right, for the rest of you, um, yep. the, the the small hobbit slips underneath the feet. The fight doesn't stop. <laughs> they just start randomly punching each other. You know, tavern you know, fight. Now we're observers. But now you're, and the, and so the dread part, Robert, sleeps between their feet. Pico and that's your table. is giving me a show. And sits I'm down. going to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, and you'll notice that uh, the fight's beginning to spread. Nobody's listening to your music, Stoner. Nobody's uh, listening. And well, and at this point, the other musician says, he pats you on the shoulder and says, give it up, bud. They're not going to listen for a while. Might as well have a drink. Uh, well, and he turns well, around. It's clear he's kind of half in his cups already. And he, he goes and grab, slams the bar and says, another! And the bartender slides him a drink and... And he goes and sits back in the corner by his instrument. Okay. I guess if nobody's listening, <laughs> I could always play louder. <laughs> <laughs> you go, guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a, I am a giant, and this is like a pressure-based instrument, so I'm thinking just like choke hold a little bit more. Yeah. And play a little bit louder. Cause, cause, I just I want to point me. out the logic not coming from the, this dumb giant, but coming from Rob, who plays the drums. Yeah, exactly. I guess I'll just play He's louder. Like, yeah, nobody can nobody can not listen at that point. Like, the I'm gonna, I'm it's the heard. most appropriate music to accompany a bar fight. Yeah, it just Perfect. is. Yeah. yeah, and so yeah, the fight. Right. Like flogging every once in a while, drunken lullabies, but like the bad drunken version. That's what I imagine. Okay, yeah. So there's bad drunken bagpipe music still going, louder. Um, the other musician just shakes his head and sits down to drink his drink. Uh, clearly not. You know, it's like he let you know that you could get free booze, but you know, you want to play, that's okay. Uh, the bar fight's also getting louder. Um, the, the Hobbit ends up coming over to your table, and the three of you have a chance to talk, albeit kind of at the top of your voice, because things are getting very noisy in there. At one point, a mug flies across ahead of, of and you're like, ah, you know. Can I try and catch it? <laughs> you absolutely can try and catch it, but you have to we roll pretty good hands. the same thought. Yeah. <laughs> and, and instead of Both of you. It, we just touch hands and then just do it. 
Oh! <laughs> <laughs> They feel an electric moment between them. Uh, fresh. <laughs> I was there was a beer, ale. Never mind. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so you don't you don't need to like you know hide your love here. I mean this is this is the shittiest bar. Um, we ever. just met. Not that I have anything against that, but we only just met. You know, I like to actually finish a drink before <laughs> just Aww. saying uh, i guess I, I understand that but you love it first sight you know you don't need to deny your feelings i'm sorry what did you say love at first sight do you not know what that is um i i suspect <clears throat> no actually ah. uh, you realize shauna that the wood elf her eyes are covered she is clearly blind Oh, that's cool. It can be, yes. Clearly, you still know how to throw a knife. Well done. And I grab your hand that's waving in front of my face. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a fly. Mm -hmm. So, Dread Pirate Roberts, what is your story? Have you heard of me? What would make you feel better? <laughs> of course you've heard of me. Everybody's heard of me. And when they haven't heard of me, it just makes me so angry because I've worked so hard for people to just know who I am and be afraid when I walk in a room and like, give me all the stuff and I don't have to do anything. And it's amazing. It's the best. Um, yeah. So I'm the Dread Pirate Roberts. I am amazing and the best pirate on the seven seas. And my crew, you, you just can't find good, loyal crew anymore. You know what I mean? These days, just people suck. From up above, the parrot in the rafter screams, RIP OUT THEIR THROATS, YOU mateys! Except for a parrot. Parrot's the best crew you could ever find. My first mate. I am, I am looking for more. If you guys want to come and join my crew and, and, and help me kill some fucking bastards, it's going to be fun. I'm you always know. up for a good fight. Perfect. Okay. How about you, uh, blind wood elf badass lady? Uh, you can call me damn it. Uh, damn it. I'm, I'm all for a row here or there. Uh, it's just a matter of um, the point. Revenge. Oh, Fighting. Now that's what point do you I need? Want. Other than a sword. Just saying. They put me on a plank and made me float in the ocean. Oh, and uh, Roberts, you actually kept the plank. <laughs> what was left of it? It's in your backpack. I pull, I pull out the plank that's probably bigger than me, but not that big. Yeah, it's, it, I mean, it got ate away by sharks and stuff, too. So there's not very much of it left. I'm going to kill that son of a bitch with this plank. You know you want to watch this, right? And you want to help me. <laughs> I want to watch it. I. I'll uh... roll. <laughs> I have to. <laughs> well, so oh, there's... Pico loves you. So there is a revenge story. There is an ale wanting story. There is somebody in desperate want for some musical lessons. And what do you mean? I, this Another mutt goes flying through and manages to, oh, natural 20. Which one of you does it hit? <laughs> oh, Robert, mug comes flying, hits you <laughs> right in the side of the head. Bonk! And they're out. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Uh, and you take uh, two points of damage. Excellent. <laughs> Oh, and the fight, the fight is full on. The bartender's just sitting by the behind the bar, watching his thing. finally, he's like, "All right, everybody, quiet down." And one of the guys says, "We're well, not gonna quiet down for somebody called Twinkle Toes." And the other one, the bartender gets mad. Never call me that. And he throws one, the mug he was cleaning at somebody, and then the it just blows up. You guys are at the edge of a storm of chairs flying across the thing, broken glasses. There was a mirror behind the bar. 
but it's not there anymore. Um, the Knoll waitress is still wandering around, ducking and dodging and everything, and brings and she brings some other more drinks to your table. And sits them down, oh, and an extra you. one down, saying, yeah, that one, he got laid out, so he's not going to pay for this. You guys better pay for this one. So you have an extra, oh, an extra mug right there. Stoner, you realize that, that the fight has just gone beyond... I mean, you're you're being a wonderful soundtrack, a wonderful squeaking, annoying soundtrack for this bar fight. But you know, bagpipes are thirsty work. <laughs> and there is a table over there with three people sitting at it, and there are uh, mugs of ale. That's it's the a lot only. Of blowing. It's the only oh. intact table left in the bar. Looks like that's where I'm going. All right, you begin to make your way across the floor. Roll me a dexterity check to see if you could manage to make it past all of these fighting bodies. Yeah, uh, 16 plus dexterity plus 2. 18. Okay. You, you guys, if anybody notices, you know, as you're drinking and talking and stuff, but this massive hunched over gigantic person stops playing his bagpipes for just a moment and starts surprisingly deftly making his way through the crowd avoiding as a body goes go flying across him and another punch you know tips and he's like ah, oh ah, and he ma makes it to your table and there you are at the table ah i suppose this is for you oh well well i need me a beer i'm oh, thirsty there you I'm go th big guy <laughs> So you're welcome for the music. I work very hard. I know you want some autograph, but maybe, maybe I, later. Actually, yeah, I would like an autograph. I loved that music. It was great. It was oh, just, it reminded me so much of my ship and being on it. And uh, cool. <laughs> in case you haven't heard, we have a dread pirate Roberts in our midst. So perhaps you would like their autograph. Oh, I don't know, no pirate robbers. I think you'll want to. <laughs> what? What was? What have they got to say? They might get angry. It could be fun. Oh, oh, that uh, well, that little one right there is gonna get yeah. mad. Yeah. Yeah. Why should I be afraid? Well, oh. you see the entire vicinity around us in complete and utter upheaval. That's their fault. Mm. Are you trying to test me, sir? Oh, I, I don't try and test nobody. I'm just trying to drink my beer. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> and as you all take your nice swig of the, the, the really awful ale, but I mean, hey, it's, a, it's something. You take a slip, F and all of a sudden, know. a really, <laughs> a voice that just oozes slime sounds from the shadows behind you. Well, you guys are kind of an interesting crowd. Would you like to earn a little coin? A fine little. Oh, let's call it ten gold apiece. Go on. I'm listening. All right. Would you follow me and we can talk in a little more of civilized way? What are you talking about? This is civilized. And all of a sudden you see a, a shadowy figure. It's not very tall. Uh, taller than the Roberts, but you know, not as tall as the rest of you. Um, and you can't quite see the feet. They blend with the shadows really good. But they reach out their hand and gesture for you to come. Oh, hey. There's a tiny little staircase back behind there. Probably for the rooms above. Okay. And the, the furtive figure moves up the stairs. You guys follow? Mom, guys. Yeah. You too. Sure. Fishing guy who doesn't know who I'm I am. I'm taking my beer, though. <laughs> We're all taking our beer. Uh, oh yeah, I I think I will put my hand on uh, on our lovely hobbit's <laughs> our hobbit friend's shoulder and just okay. 
Um, you you roll me a dexterity check. All right. Well, that we'll is if you get bad. okay. You you reach for her shoulder, but instead you put your hand on the top of her head. Well, there. there. Either or. Yep. So, Shauna. That's okay. All right. And from up above, you hear a parrot yell. I think you need to take your skirts off. And he comes flying down and lands on your shoulder. That'll be for later. <laughs> oh. Got a very uh, interesting pet there. He's not a pet. It's my first mate. Fuck you! Says the yeah, pirate. Fuck you! It's it's F bird. you, actually, but okay. <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm really bad with names. All right. And so you the, the stairs... You hear a door creak open at the top of the stairs. Um, damn it. You hear this with your very sharpened hearing. And you guys all head up the stairs after this furtive figure. Yup. I like that furtive figure. All right. As I'm you, on high the, alert though. Yeah, good. That's a I'm good not. thing. As you go up the stairs with each of you, you know, with your, your your beer and stuff, it depends on, you know, a little bit got spilled, but mostly got drank. You make it to the top of the stairs, and there are three doorways off the hallway there, and the very first one is opened. And the room has a fire going in the fireplace. It's brightly lit. And sitting in a chair is someone who was probably the furtive figure in their cloak. Because as they as they're sitting there, they they do this dramatic gesture and throw their cloak off. And what you see is a small, sallow-faced human. You've had a in, rough life. In very fine clothing. And he gestures to the, the chairs around the fire. I'm going to walk right up to him and look at, like, the hem of one of, of his shirt or his pants or something, and just like look at it and be like, I am, st I am direct, wherever you are going, I am directly behind you. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like leading you around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone so, you want to describe you know, to me what's going like, on? The hem of his shirt, and I'll rub it on her hand. What do you think of that? That's pretty nice. That's a nice, nice hem there. Um, who are we, who are we talking to right now? Who's in front of us? The oh. most dying person. His eyebrows raise and he says, Ah, my dears, you need to have a seat and we will talk business. Okay. <laughs> what, what business? The business of money. Good business. Mm. That's the best um, business. Yeah. Okay. The business of saving people. Also the best business. Does it also include finding a group of pirates who stole my ship and put me on a plank in the ocean and who need to fucking die? Cause no, but revenge costs money. So you need money. I happen to have money. And I would very much like to share it with you if you would do a little thing for me. What's that? We'll have a seat and we'll talk about it. And he pulls out... A very nice-looking bottle of wine. Damn it, you can't see it, but the way that the water it. sloshes, you can smell <laughs> it as he opens it. And there are four cups. He must have been fast to get those out before you guys got up there. Um, and he pours a little bit for each of you and a little bit for himself, too. And he picks it up and says, To business. Um, I want to do an insight check on this person. Okay. Um, based on what I can hear, I just touched the the hem, all sorts of things. Um, yeah. So just whatever information I can gather. Do, yeah. Do, do, do. yeah, I'm all, like, all kinds of apprehensive. Um, and that is a dirty 20. Okay. Yeah. Um, he is definitely talking about business. The quality of the hem and the quality of the wine does speak money. But there's something, well, I mean, the voice oozes slime. There's something that's 
less than above board. Not that you haven't dealt with that many times before. Um, but yeah, definitely not a goody two shoes. Not necessarily a deal breaker. Yeah. So define your version of saving people. Well, you see, there has been a number of attacks, people going missing. It's terrible. Everywhere about here um, it's just been worried sick. And I would propose that we stop that. And then along with stopping that, you would also be doing me a favor by returning an object with these terrible bandits have stolen from me. Are we What's certain they are bandits? Oh, you'll know it when you see it because it looks like this. And he does another grand gesture and he pulls out a painting, a little tiny painting with a nice little frame. It's like, who carries a painting with them? But he does. He pulls out a painting and he says, like this. I don't know and, what we're looking at. Yep. And everybody, but damn it, sees a painting <gasps> of a chair. It's painting of a chair. A throne, to be exact. I guess a throne, to be more exact, whatever that is. Looks well, it's pretty. Oh, really? You want us to bring you a chair? It is a very important chair. It gives yeah. whoever has it the authority to rule. Rule what? <laughs> well, that's something you don't need to know. You just yeah, need to bring is. it to me and then I pay you each 10 gold. Seems uh, like that would be worth more than 10 gold. That's like $1,000 to each of you. Just so you understand how that well, works. Well, I know, but he's going to rule the world with this chair, apparently. So that's worth laughs. a little more than... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I didn't say the world. What did you say? I said that's none of your business. Now, that is my deal. You may take it or leave it. You get to help save the people that are being murdered around here. I'm going and to you get to earn some money for returning something mine. Win, win for everybody, right? Here, I'm have some more wine. And he pours another little bit of wine for everybody. Um, F is not drinking the wine. Uh -huh. I, I she's think... been kind of like making a, you know, a saluting him kind of thing, but she's not really drinking it. Uh, mostly because she just doesn't know what to do with wine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, and he's drinking it with you. Mm -hmm. Or seems to be. But what was mm -hmm. Dread Pirate trying to say? Um... I think that you should tell us what the chair does. And if you don't, I might have to kill you. So you're going to tell us what the chair does and why you need us to get it for you in more detail so that you don't have to die. He reaches forward and he pats you on top of your head. Don't fucking says, touch me. He's like, ah, oh, I like the fire. I like the spice. I would, I would like to have you guys work for me. Are you willing to do it? If you answer my fucking question. I think there is a little mistake here. I'm, I want to think I am afraid of you. It should be. But the truth is that under other circumstances, you should be afraid of me. But right now we are friends. And so potentially business partners, would you be willing to do this for me? I can guarantee you the chair does not give anybody rulership over you. Any of you. What does it give you rulership over? Yeah, I don't like the mystery. Actually, I don't quite know. I just know it's worth a lot of money. Yeah, we so should we... ten gold. Ten gold is a lot of money. Mm. How about and you, you count it by four, that's 40 gold, which is how about quite you, a lot of money. Yeah, you give us 10 gold now, and then you give us a cut of whatever the chair is worth after we get it to you. He looks at you for a moment, and you're clearly thinking. I'll roll a persuasion check if I have to. And he says, okay, we'll do that. See, that's why I'm the captain. I have a question. So many questions. I don't think I've ever had anybody work for me with so many questions. Yes, what is your question? What's your name? S uh, 
you know, they, they call me many different things. And I don't like any of them. They call me Simple Minder Twinkle Toes. That's my actual name. Don't give me any nicknames. Just call me by that if you're going to call me anything. Simple Minded Twinkle Toes. No. Simple Minder Twinkle Toes. And you can hear just the edge in his voice as he says that. Simple Minded Twinkle Toes. I didn't ask for it. You know, the wonderful thing about names is you can always change them. But there's a certain power to this one. Did the Fae Folk tell you that? No, the last person whose throat I cut did. Hmm. Well, they aren't saying very much anymore, are they? No, they're not. No, they're not. So, we have a deal. I will write you a map. I would like for you to leave for at le least first thing in the morning. If you, would, if you do uh, not want to leave tonight. Um... How about this? You make us the map. You buy us our meals and the drinks for the rest of the evening. We find your chair, but first you have to tell us everything you know about what happened to it and where it came from and why it costs so much money. Well, you see, it is a chair that controls monsters. That's what they ah. say anyway. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But... The people who are looking for it will pay a great deal for it. And there's more than one. I would like to have us and our partnership be the first to return it instead of the other ones that obviously must be going for such a great prize. I understand now. So, ten gold tonight with a map. And then we see each other again when you come back. All right. I'm in. All right. He, he reaches out and you can hear the clink, damn it, in front of you of the clink of coins. You reached out and touch it. Do you? Oh, yeah. I grab it. Okay. And you can tell, oh, yeah, those are gold coins. You know the, the feel of that. All those years as a bandit kind of imprinted that on your head. Yep, those go right. in that little satchel. You guys all watch as he gives 10 gold coins. Now, each gold coin, that's 100 bucks. That ale cost you one copper. I mean, okay, I'll take it. Is this before, right. money? Is this before COVID or after COVID money? <laughs> <laughs> 100 bucks used to get you farther. Yeah. <laughs> As All right. long as you don't buy gas. Not yeah, no God. freaking kidding. <laughs> All right, we slide. He slides the gold over to the dread pirate. He says, "I'll, I'll take it." Roberts, that gold is. You pick up a coin. It's almost as big as your face. The the pirate starts like rubbing the coins against her head as the pirate says, "Fuck you!" Yeah, fuck you. All right. Um. And we'll need a place to, to stay this evening. Well, I'm pretty sure that that good coin there will get you a very nice place here. And I'm pretty sure that you need us a little more than we need you right now. Oh, I think not. I have the money. Correction. Are the other two of you in there? In for, for this deal? Or is it only these two very brave individuals who will be going and retrieving this chair? Can I still play my bagpipes? Oh, uh, that was else. you? <laughs> <laughs> so as long as you don't do it tonight, you can do it uh, when you leave tomorrow. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's thinking. <laughs> Give him a minute. <laughs> this may take a while. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know. All right, I'm in. All right. He plunks down 10 gold in front of you, stoner, and then he looks at F.U. with an inquisitive eyebrow raise. Eh, I'm always in for a good fight. Sounds like music to my ears, and he gives you the last pile of gold. And he says, wonderful. You can stay in my room here tonight, and I will see you when you return. Good night. And with a whoosh... 
Everybody roll me a perception check. 13. That's it, 13. Um, 19. 18. 17. Sorry. <laughs> Technically, that was a zero. Okay. <laughs> Technically, that was a zero. So the hobbit is so busy, like, rubbing the gold against her face <laughs> and her body that she there. doesn't notice there. that he that he pulls the cloak and kind of tries to meld into the shadows. Stoner, you don't see him either. It's just like he's, poof, he's gone. It's like magic. It's really cool and also kind of scary. Damn it, and F you, you definitely noticed that he did the whole, like, roguish slink into the shadows thing and slowly edges his way towards the door <laughs> thinking he's being sneaky and then and then disappears F out goes, the door. bye! <laughs> what the fuck? See, see ya! And he <laughs> continues pretending like you don't see him. You know, simple mind or twinkle toes and he sneaks out <laughs> the door and then closes it behind him. Great. And now you are all alone in a room that with a bottle of wine. Masterful. Um, huh. I'm taking the bottle of wine. <laughs> I am not having that bottle of wine. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> uh, my, uh, ale. Yeah, ale. I'm, hey. I'm going to take it and uh, um, and then just a declaration. Um, I'll be taking the bed. Good night. <laughs> and very deftly beeline it to the bedroom. I should not be able to see, but I know. <laughs> you know where it's at. You know where it is. It's the and smell of it. linen. Yep, so, so damn it, just fleet-footed and deft, walks away from you with the bottle of wine to the door, walks into the bedroom, slam, it's the door, and you guys are all sitting there staring at each other around a nice, warm fireplace, and there is a little carpet on the on the floor. I'm going back downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> There's fun to be had tonight. I want to, yeah, I want to keep playing music. But <laughs> the bitches come out so I want to hear your music. No, no. Well, me too. Uh, I, so like, I like your music. I think it's beautiful and it's just lovely. Oh, thank you. It fits this tavern really yeah. well. It reminds me of home. It's, and my, it's my calling. Great. All right, so the rest of you, three of you go back downstairs. This tavern fight is still going full blast. There, the other bard is off playing in the corner. Um, he's very drunk now, so his playing is a little kind of all over the place. The Knoll barmaid has actually joined the fight now and is, and is fighting with chair legs and tables and stuff and screaming obscenities at everybody. The barkeep has disappeared. He's gone somewhere probably away from the from the bar maybe to you know set for the repairs that are going to have to happen tomorrow um and it's a raucous good time there's there's food on the tables that have that you know has been knocked around but hey it's still edible you know you can get something there's ale still behind the bar you know and everybody's kind of rating that as in between their punches you know the the, the fight just rages all night stoner do you play music all oh, night yeah. yeah i'm gonna have to it's uh, it is it is uh, it's in my soul all right. How late do you guys go with this raucous thing? Because it seems like it's going to go all night. Oh, F is worshiping her god. <laughs> there you go. The god of war and bar oh, yeah. fights. I'm going to gather some of the mugs of ale that the people who have, are fighting are not drinking. I'm uh -huh. going to come up to the room. I'm going to sit in front of the fireplace. I'm going to drink them all until I pass out from alcohol poisoning. <laughs> okay. All right, so the hobbit's uh, drunk on the floor um, mm -hmm. in a pool of vomit. <laughs> this happens with alcohol poisoning. The, 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 the uh, wood elf is trying very hard to sleep through the noise and the music and stuff. Um, and it's not working very well, but, you know, at least it's a mildly comfortable bed with no bugs. And the rest of you... Uh, the other two of you just enjoy a long, raucous evening, and by the time, we'll fast forward a little bit. 
F will have like a, a like a cut lip by the time you know like a bruise on the yeah like she's she was walking through and kind of like tapping people on the head and like you know fighting a little yeah, yeah. yeah just getting involved yeah yeah you know what though <laughs> that little t you thought you were just tapping and stuff but the truth was you were full on in the bar fight there's chair marks on the wall and stuff and at one point when the sun comes up you know and the music the beautiful music of sunrise plays. And and Ellie, you wake up, yeah. having been the only one to actually get sleep. Yeah, what a lovely evening. Mm -hmm. Had a bottle of wine, mostly to myself. Slept well. You come out of the room? Do you come um, out of the room? Yes, and this time I'm not wearing the blindfold. Okay. So you come out of the room without the blindfold on, and as you, as you open the door, the wonderful smell of vomit and ale greets you. Hell, it was a wonderful night. <laughs> over by the fireplace. Um, you can hear snoring. Um, sounds like it's probably the hobbit. It's that little high-pitched, you know, hobbit snoring. Um, so... This is a tavern kind of hotel-ish room. Mm -hmm. um, so I would assume they don't have like a kitchen kitchenette, but there's a fireplace. Do they have like cast iron and stuff near the fireplace? No, no they would assume that you would get that downstairs in the bar. That's fair. Um, do they at least have like a cast iron poker or anything? Oh, yes, absolutely. Great. Uh, I'm going to take that poker um, and just start like banging it against the... Uh, brick around the or the, the fireplace brick, whatever whatever just something that like scratch and hit and just loud noises <laughs> okay um eventually shauna that does wake you up from your drunken stupor oh my god your head hurts good morning and how did we sleep last night lovely you look wonderful. I can tell in your soul that you are so happy right now with your life choices. <laughs> You're muted. We can't hear you, Shauna. Shauna. You're muted. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't understand. It's been so long since I've had a hangover. It's been two days. This hurts so good. Two whole days. What a! I'm so sorry for your plights. And although I know I could tap tap them on the head, I'm tapping their face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you comes back. Your hand comes back with smells like vomit. I wipe it on the sheets or whatever is next to me. Just yeah, it's the fireplace and the chair and the Hobbit. The Hobbit's next to you. I'm going to wipe it on the Hobbit. Wipes <laughs> <laughs> out my head. <laughs> you got to wipe it on the other side that doesn't have any vomit because I was just, like, oh, just needed to make it even. All right. Everybody else, get up. Start they're, not, go. they're not there. Where the hell is everybody? They might be downstairs, but there doesn't, you can't hear any other breathing. Uh, all right. Uh, I will head downstairs then. All right. Rock, rock, awesome. I'll. Down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have 10 minutes. Okay, you carefully <laughs> make your way down the stairs. Roll me a dexterity check. <laughs> Trip, fall, break, dies. Hopefully not. Hopefully not this early in the campaign. Oh, <laughs> that'd be a quick end. That wasn't a, that wasn't a great roll. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, you do make it down the eight. stairs, but it's not as graceful as you would hope. You slip. And miss several stairs and you almost fall. You don't quite fall. Because you are an elf. You are graceful. <laughs> but it's, and you're, you're hoping to God nobody can see you. But you don't know. Because you don't know. You can hear breathing downstairs and snoring. And, uh, and uh, you finally make it down the stairs. And there are a number of beings breathing and snoring and stuff. Nobody sounds like they're up and moving around. Oh, wait, over in the corner, that's somebody moving around. 
kind of sounds like maybe they're picking stuff up or cleaning up. You're not really sure. Mm -hmm. Was that dog over there? Yes! How'd you avoid all this mess, Miss Fancy Pants? Oh, I walked upstairs, got a nice bottle of wine, and went directly to bed. Uh, I had me a good fight. You'll notice that... Well, no, you won't notice. No, I won't. <laughs> mm -mm. Um, but the, the very voice is very, is very satisfied. Um, I'm, I'm very happy for you. Listen, I am looking for uh, two of the compatriots that I had joining me at my table last night. Um, the one playing, attempting to play the bagpipes, um, and the other one who was just oh so very excited about the fights. Oh well, I think I think there's one over there. Yes, the the one with the bagpipes. Mm -hmm. It looks like somebody. I'm not really sure how he got up there, but he's up there. Oh, okay. Like he's sleeping, and then the other one, she's right next to you, right there. Um, hey, get that table out of your mouth. <laughs> she says, and you hear her, you hear her come closer, and reach down, right next to you, and says, "I don't care if you're an orc, you don't get to chew on my table legs." And you hear her yank it out and uh, f you. You'd fallen to sleep with a table but leg in your like mouth. it's like home. And, uh, and somebody just rudely yanked it out of your mouth. Oh. You were using it to intimidate people. It was great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good morning, uh, Yeah. Um, mm, good morning. Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, I've, I've been informed that our lovely bagpipe human, not human, our lovely bagpipe person is somewhere above he's a goliath he's pretty big he's bigger than i am that's I impressive have very little reference but i believe you um i was told up up i look up you Where look up he? and he is actually up <laughs> he was tall enough somehow last night at one point he was going to try you th you th you're not really sure what his logic was at the time but you know you're all pretty drunk you were all fighting and stuff but that like he tried to swing on the rafters and then just kind of stayed there so he's just kind of <laughs> hanging there sound hmm. asleep you know i i hate to disturb him he looks really comfortable well something tells me it's not going to particularly fly if we don't bring him with us. And we do, in fact, have to leave soon. Mm. Well, had a good time last night. I'm so very happy for you. It sounds like it was good times had by all and rough mornings also had by all. You gotta pay for it. Oh, mm. F you. There's, there's a, a splinter right, right there, right in your oh. teeth. Oh, yeah. Ow. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just like home. Um, uh, yeah. Um, well, um, uh, I guess I could like hit his leg or something. Please wake do wake him up. That would be very okay. helpful. Okay. So <gasps> she goes up to uh our Goliath friend and sort of like nudges his leg, kinda like pushes him and and that actually loosens his hand, so he falls <laughs> off the rafter. <laughs> I get out of the and way. And he was <laughs> holding it onto in some sort of reflexive something. Ow! Of, the earth <laughs> They make a horrible sound upon landing. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he's playing. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, 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 oh. Good God morning wasn't that fun oh, big time oh, <laughs> i am she has like bru she's like a bruise on her cheek and she's like got blood coming down like i don't know what color orc blood is but <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh she looks like she was beat up and gave as good as she got <laughs> okay. like i don't think anybody can get up to where i was uh otherwise the 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 Playing would have stopped much sooner if they could. 
<laughs> That's really why you scrambled up there because people were trying desperately. They were to trying to stop up. you. Yeah. I started to climb up like 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 uh, what's that World War Z mm-hmm. like on the sides of the. Yeah. Um. Anyway, someone order us some kind of sustenance from this morning. I'm gonna go get Dread Pirate Roberts, and then we are going to head out because we have a mission. Oh yeah, oh. mission oh. from Slimy Guy. Yeah. Mission okay. From slime. Oh. Right. Right. You, you take care of breakfast. I will go get the dread pirate. Let's send the blind person. We got it. The stairs. Great. All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna start like rummaging around for like really bad breakfast options. <laughs> oh no. Like, I'm thinking like um, the hangover, the hangover couch pizza is what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not that she would need it. However, she's There's pretty it. sure. I don't know. Maybe Dread Pirate would eat just about anything, but uh, I suspect the other one's a little more picky. So, that's, like, yeah. So it's she'll go uh, look behind the bar. <laughs> okay, you look behind, the, and you'll notice that, that the Noel is paying little attention to you. She is, you know, she clearly, well, and you saw, she was part of the fight last night, too. She was having herself a good time roaring and clawing and getting punched and stuff, and she is just covered in a bloody mess, and she's picking up stuff in an attitude and when somebody signals for like breakfast as one of the other people starts to wake up she says breakfast is closed take care of yourself and continues cleaning up really F- bad attitude F- that one take care of herself she's going to go behind the bar and get something yeah, yeah behind <laughs> the bar there's no like soup or breakfast or cereal that would all be back in the kitchens but there is bread there's bread. lots of bread bread's good oh, and there is a little bit left of the cask of ale. Mm. Oh yeah, perfect. I'm gonna take both of those. I'm gonna take a bunch of bunch of the bread, put some yeah. in the stash, keep some of it with me, and then yeah, totally. All right. So you're you're, you know, good for more ale, nice more hard bread. bread. You get it. You head upstairs. Um, behind uh, damn it, who damn it? Did you roll to go back up the stairs? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find out. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. This is just enter- endlessly entertaining for the GM. That, that one was a 10. <laughs> okay. Uh, She's getting a little better. Yeah. Uh, not like it, proper up with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was getting top of the stairs pretty good. She, made, she found the stairs. She was going up. But, you know, those steps, they don't really give you any kind of like... And so there Super was even, yeah. So it's almost by the time you guys find her, she's kind of half crawling up the stairs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so well, the orc her comes behind you and <laughs> and kind of half picks you up. Damn it! <laughs> Come this way, little here woman. stairs there. <laughs> she kind of like way. has a hand on her back and she's like going up. <laughs> like a finger on her back. Okay, as you guys get back up to the room, you see a very groggy, very sick-looking hobbit still sitting by the fire, exactly where you left her. Um, uh, Dread Pirate, are you are you awake? No. All right. We have uh, more. We have more. Uh, They're uh, holding uh, ale. They're holding ale and bread. I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, try and take it extremely fast from you. Well, a little hair of the dog always hurt everyone. So, <laughs> our plan is bread. to eat bread and then go out and. Do we have that map? Did he actually get it? It looks that? like our stream has stopped. Oh no! Yeah, or at yeah, least it's it's, it's uh, thinking on my screen. Oh, it is oh, also thinking mine on mine. Well. Uh, okay. Well. It stopped with me with a terrible expression. <laughs> no, it froze, it looks like. No, it's back. Oh, it's back? No, mine's back. Mine. Okay, yeah, mine's no. not quite no, yet. Mine isn't either. Do, 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 do. But it will be soon. It will be soon. Oh, yeah. Yay! Okay. Let us move forward. As they, they slowly... Oh, there we go. Uh, there we go. It looks like it at least picked up from exactly where we left off. So. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So maybe we're just in slow motion. 
for a minute. Yep. All right. So the the we've left the hot. We have the Hobbit here uh, slurping noisily at a mug of ale. Um, you can smell the smell of Dale bread. You know, it actually smells really good there. Damn it, um, kind of fresh and crusty. Uh, and of course, there's more ale. And you know, the only one that seems hungover is the Hobbit. So life isn't too bad right now. Um, the map was a good point, though. Did we get a hold of that? He never handed it to you. But is it somewhere here? It is actually. F you, as you're looking around, you see it stuck with a dagger to the inside <laughs> of the door. That's he managed to do that while he was sneaking out. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we need to get better at that. <laughs> somebody else would have to uh, notice the map. <laughs> yep. So F you, you noticed the map because yeah. you were the one that said you were looking. Got the map. Yeah. And actually, I'll take the dagger and I'll hand it to Damn it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Here, another one because you lost one back there, right? Oh, I I appreciate it, but no, I uh, I was giving that back. Ah. Well, but I will you'll make better use of it than I will. I absolutely will. In fact, um, somewhere around here, there was a fire poker that I quite enjoyed. <laughs> Anyone could, could see where I might have left that down, thinking. Fire poker? Yes. Be next to you. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh, <laughs> I rolled a zero again. Oh, right. okay. Great. I don't know where it is. Maybe I should find that. <laughs> stabby, uh, stabby. Oh, hmm. Where it is? Get that thing out of my face. Light. There's light, and it hurts. The light. <laughs> I, I hurts. rolled a. F I got a fifteen. Can I find the poker? Oh yeah, it's exactly where she dropped it, right next to the fireplace. Okay. <laughs> oh, right next to me. Yeah, know. right next to the. But I don't know. Okay. Where it's oh. Oh. Uh, so I'm they're hungover. So. <laughs> I'm going to add fire poker to my inventory, and that is going to be my walking stick and seeing eye stick from now. On. <laughs> nice, wow, nice iron nice. barbed yep. fire poker. Nice. And jabby jabber as well. Stabby stabby. Yeah. Stabby uh, stabby indeed. Very useful. Mm -hmm. So we have the map. Yeah. Uh, we okay. have some kind of food. Um, so, is, uh, I'd love to leave, lead this army of whatever it is we are but unfortunately i'm a little uh one sense behind the rest and so if somebody else could read the map or any notes thereon, that'd be very helpful and as you guys look you notice that the wood elf is not wearing her bandage anymore that her eyes are milky white and there's a massive scar that goes right across her face wow. right right where her eyes were Holy oh you ain't got no wrong that's like really badass yeah I need you on my crew for sure. Yeah. Thank you. Where'd your eyes go? Sorry. Pico um, took them. I, well, I'll, I'll take the map. Pico. God of War. Oh, you know, I'll take that. Oh. I like that. Yes. Uh, he does that. Uh, a oh, war god. Took only him. with worthy people. So, you know, you must be worthy. Well, thank you. Bug gouge my eyes out. Does that mean make me worthy? Well, not if you do it. Okay. Yes. No. This was not. <laughs> this was not self-inflicted. Um. But at any rate. Yes. Who has the map? Where are we starting? Great. Great. I... Let's give the drunk person the map. Fantastic. I I've looked at the map and I rolled a two. Great. <laughs> <laughs> It's very different from maps of the ocean. You know, mm -hmm. a, a, a nautical map has, you know, things in, in, you know, guided by stars and stuff. This map is by Earth features. And the nautical map's not by features because you can't see anything above the water. Um, and so this is just like there's lumps, there's weird lines. You really can't make head or tail of this. What did they write this in? Draconic? What do they think? We are fucking stupid? Like, we're not going to realize that it's even in Draconic and that we can't read it? We, this guy's messing with us. I take it and turn it the other way around. 
Well, now they kind of look like mountains and, you know, streams and stuff, maybe. Yeah. I, knew that. I was okay. just making sure that you guys were paying attention. Okay. We go um, that way. Hey, F. Um, can you read the map? I don't know. Tanya, can I read the map? <laughs> um, actually, well, yes, you can read maps. Oh, okay. I mean, you um, you spent a lot of your life in the temple, and there's a lot of learning there. You're actually probably one of the only people in this group who can actually read. <laughs> That's right. How ironic. I used to be. Able to read. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I think I could figure this out. Okay. I mean, first I, things I, first, we got to go out the door. It's it's a good thing to for the leader to let their crew feel like they have value. So I will allow you to read this map for us, not because I can't read it, but because <laughs> I can read it. But I want you to feel like you have a like you have value. Thank you, Mon Capitan. You're welcome. I'm a great captain. Out the door. That um, way. Do we know where we're going? That way. <laughs> oh, no, that way. Um, I think someone needs to help. Damn it, though. <laughs> um, Hello. You know, rather than have her fall down the stairs, which I'll, wouldn't I'll, be good. Probably, I'll take your hand and put it back on my head. All right, can I just pick her up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So, from my perspective. My hand is is yanked, put on head, and I'm like, and I immediately think like, yep, let's put me on the drunk person's head, and then I just <laughs> lift it up into the air, <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> like the doll over there. Oh, oh. oh this go, is going one. to be so much fun. <laughs> you love it. Hey, you were the first one to say yes. <laughs> I was. I, this is a hundred percent on me. I own up to this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're out the door. <laughs> you guys head down the stairs. You walk out the yeah. door. Yeah. And stretching in, from, in front of you with roads kind of going off in four directions is what looks like featureless plain. But as you look at the map, uh, F.U., you realize that um, that the, there are features. They're just below the edges of the horizon. There's, there's what looks like, according to the map, as you're going towards like what's probably a pit of some sort or a depression in the earth, a valley maybe, okay. mm -hmm. something like that. And um, it doesn't really give distances on this map. It's fairly crude, um, but it doesn't look like it's that far. Okay, that way. This guy doesn't know how to draw, by the way, just. He wasn't me. And you guys step over the, the still drunken uh, remains of the bar fight and out the door and off you go with Fu leading you off into the into the nothingness, into the unknown, into yeah. the unknown. No one has heard her last part of the name, by the way. They, nope. You all know her as F. F. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm yep. Forward. And and Shauna, your parrot comes. Parrot starts pecking at your head, and he says, "Fuck you!" You know, we need some mail. <laughs> Ahoy, mateys! Oh, and you realize he hasn't eaten yet. Oh, right, I'm gonna go scrounge some bread for my first mate because, like I was saying, a good captain. Bread. Yeah, I gotta, like, flick he like puts it over her shoulder. <laughs> so, who oh. are you calling your first mate? Is that F? Oh no, no, no. that was the the parrot. <laughs> oh, the parrot. Got it. Got it. Okay, I'm 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 up. I'm up with you now. All right. And so the the Hobbit, uh, which by the way, F comes up right up to about your knees. Oh, okay. Um, she's only about three feet tall. Tall. Oh, she originally like put the bread back like this, and then went looked it out, went and uh, okay, that's not going to work, and then Ooh. put it down, 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 way low. <laughs> yep. Yes. <laughs> You'll put it down way low, and I'll step on my tip, my tiptoes. <laughs> Yep, there you go. And you've got some bread. You guys are headed off in the morning sun. You know, you can hear a little bit of Vivaldi playing in the background <laughs> um, as it comes up over the horizon. Uh, which, by the way, um, Roberts is giving that that sun hurts like a son of a bitch. Oh my God, it's stabbing your eyes out on purpose. Is there a hat I can steal? 
There's only these people around you right now. Are any of you wearing a hat? That nope. would be a no. Stand in my shadow or <laughs> his. Yeah, I'll, I'll stand in whoever's shadow is closest to me. Okay, well, there's only four of you. What is your, I suppose we could say, what's your marching order? I'm assuming that F is in front because yes. she's leading us with yeah, the Yeah, because she's got the, the map. map. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm being carried by a Goliath. So I guess I'm, I'm probably second or third in line. Uh -huh. I'm in the back. I'm the last one. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's me and me and Ellie. And, and you David. got a lot of shade. Yep. Yeah, because well, the Goliath is, is actually very tall. In fact, he's probably the tallest being you've ever seen. He's kind of as tall as like a kraken or a sea monster like the legends. Nice ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, well, she, she literally comes up to your kneecap um, <laughs> stone. I didn't even Cutter. read your, like, if I was going to be at one of those hobbit right. snacks people in the butt. I couldn't even reach it. Yeah, you couldn't even take care of me if I was a disabled person. It's like an elf. You can, you can be my caretaker. <laughs> okay, my mind <laughs> the wrong place there. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, dear. Oh, what's that for? <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm going to see, I'm going to see Shauna behind me, uh, Robert's behind me, using me for shade. And uh, I'm going to kind of like move a little out of the sunlight to see the sun hit them. And just to, like mess with them and to be a little nuisance, like just kind of like move out of the way a little bit and just like. I'm, uh, I'm going to keep because I'm very dexterous. I'm going to keep myself in his shade, so no matter where he goes, I still. So it's shade. like one of those those snakes, you know, those uh, wooden snakes that are all jointed and stuff, where the <laughs> one place going in the back is just going back and forth like this as you're going. Um, F and damn it, you know, F. You're paying attention to the to the map and uh and damn it you're following f right you have your i'm being carried by She's... the goliath oh that's yeah. right you're being carried yeah. by the goliath uh, but I, I like all my senses are up because i don't know where we're going or what we're doing and um, and what you what you feel is that you're being like it makes no <laughs> sense at all you have no idea why this is happening i would i'm gonna argue with this for just a second because uh, all my like I'm hypersensitive to sounds and things like that, and if mm -hmm. we're moving back and forth, and I'm just hearing pitter patter back and forth, I can pretty much figure out figure what out what's is. going on. Especially if the Goliath, even if he's not like laughing, he's probably like shoulder chuckling. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and the wind up from up there, because I mean he's pretty tall, and the wind that from up there is kind of fresh, and you can really smell things. As you guys are walking, everybody roll me a perception check. Oh, oh man! That's another yeah. dirty twenty. Nice. I got a three. I got an eleven. <laughs> yeah, three. I'm concentrating. Damn it! No, <laughs> not you. <Yeah. laughs> that was the wrong voice. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting to tell somebody "f you," and you're like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. So, Shauna, I take yes. it you didn't roll very good either. I rolled a two, and I have a negative. <laughs> On to my modifier, so I. Ow. Ow. You keep rolling butts. <laughs> How so, do you walk? as you're being held up in the air, damn it, you're kind of higher than everybody, and even though you're blind, that that air and that wind, and there's not all the noise around. There's just these guys, and they're being quiet because they're concentrating either on the map or on getting out of each other's way, or you know, and and you get a smell. And not too long after that, you can, it's a distant sound, but you can, you can hear a sound. And the smell is like wet dog, just a little bit. Um, and the sound is a little bit like dogs too. You're not really sure. It's odd, but it's, it's up, actually seems to be coming from straight ahead of you. Is it, is it like a kind of an overwhelming amount of smell? Like there are oh, many no. dogs? Just like a little bit that was on the breeze. Hmm. But your nose is so sensitive, you would go, that's not normal wind. Yeah. All right. Well, someone or something is definitely ahead. I don't see anything. Something with dogs. So either, you know, someone with pets or rabid wolves. We'll find out. I'm not seeing anything yet. 
Can I have another perception check now that she's describing looking for things and I'm pretty high up now that I'm Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Higher than I am. In fact, you guys can have a have a kind of a search check now that she said something you're searching for oh, what could be causing it. So what 17. is a search check te technically? Is it another perception? Yes, it's like it's like perception. Okay. And my perception is plus zero, so I get just what's on the die, which is a 17. Okay. I got a 13. Woo! I got a 15 oh. this time! I rolled a 16. I got a 15. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you two much taller ones, as you're starting to look around, you look ahead where Dammit was saying, kind of gesturing, mm -hmm. and uh, you can see what looks like a little bit of smoke on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Um. It's probably a mile away. So it'll take you a few minutes to get there. All right. Can we head that way? Mm-hmm. We're going to that way. Okay, so you guys head that way? Or yeah. do you stop? What do you do? No, oh, I think we should head that way. I... Right, well, hello to the Raiders. <laughs> I think we should head that way because I suggested that we head that way first. So we should head that way. What way did you point to again? <laughs> Is it that, that way right there? That way? Yeah, okay. That way, yeah. that way. That way. That's the way I meant. I meant that the whole time. I was just checking to make sure mm -hmm. that you guys were um under yeah. Aye aye, Captain. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and uh as you head there, um as you get closer, all of you start to be able to smell that that wet dog smell, along with uh, like burnt wood and stuff. And you, as you get closer and closer, there's a sound. It does sounds like dogs, but nothing else. Um, and you think it's going to be that you're going to see whatever this is that, as the smoke just over the horizon. Do you do anything? Do you stop? Do you draw weapons? Do you or do you just keep going? I mean, as of right now, it's just dogs. So yeah, but I want to I want to approach cautiously. You know, we're on this adventure that's kind of dangerous and stuff. I want to make sure we approach cautiously so we know what we're running into. I want to like look for traps and stuff as we come up. Hey, parrot. Hey, parrot. Poke my parrot. Will you go check? To make sure there's nothing that's gonna kill us, and then come back and just tell me. The hey. parrot says, "Fuck you!" Hell yeah! And he stays right there. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> um, F, F takes this not quite an animal really... companion material yeah. yet <laughs> F takes this Maybe. really huge battle axe from her back basically and puts mm -hmm. it in her hand and is starting to like she's sort of putting the, the map away right now because we know where we're going right now yeah. doesn't want to lose it puts it in her you know pouch or whatever Okay. and, and has her battle axe out and she's you know, moving forward. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, longbow at the ready. Okay, so while you're carrying Dammit, she pulls out a longbow. Um, roll me a dexterity check. Damn it. You're going to be doing this a lot, sorry. Uh, 12. Okay, she pulls the bow out and only manages to jab you in the jaw a little bit. Ah! <laughs> and it gets out there. Ow! Okay, so Rob. You're carrying a now armed blind wood elf, uh, <laughs> and you saw that the 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 orc ahead of you um, drew her battle axe. Oh, all right, neat. Well, now I'm officially a tank with like a turret on it. Mm-hmm. A tank with a turret. <laughs> <laughs> nice with a wood elf turret. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Boy. And. Uh, yeah, and I don't have any weapons or anything like that. Just my, you know, sick. Oh, just play your weapons. bagpipes. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> oh, do I have, do I have uh, a bard of uh, bardic? You do have a sword. I do. Wait, I don't have anything in my inventory. Do I? I believe so. Yeah, you should. It doesn't say I, I, my my only attack is unarmed. Uh, but sure, I have a sword. <laughs> Actually, not a sword. You have. Oh, no, no. Yeah, you have. You you do have a sword. Um. This is what happens when we get random characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm, it is. It is. All right. And as you guys come over the little rise, yeah. what you see below you is was clearly it was a like a merchant's wagon. 
and it has of course been attacked by raiders as everybody's been saying and as you expected from the smoke and the sounds and the smells and stuff and um the bodies of the merchant and his caravan guards and stuff are kind of scattered the horses are dead everything's been killed the wagon has been looted and then set to fire but it's not burning very well because there was actually a, a thing of water in it you know a water barrel for the traveling merchant across the plain and it's kind of that's when that's where you're getting the smell of the wet dog because the bodies currently are being eaten by wolves mm. nice i'm going to pull out my scimitar and charge at the wolves to try and scare them away Get off of there! I gotta see if they've got stuff I can take you back. Okay, the small, <laughs> the small hobbit, um, draws oh her boy. sword and charges into battle. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a battle cry, Roberts? Yar. Yar. <laughs> found it first. I will kill you. The parrot takes off from your shoulder, yelling, "Fuck you!" <laughs> as he as he as he flies uh, away from the 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 conflict, um, <laughs> and and the little hobbit runs right past you, uh, F, uh, and towards she, the wolves. F's roll me, her. roll Pretty me sure. an intimidate check, Shauna. <laughs> I'm actually good at this one. <laughs> Natural 20 plus 5, so 20. Oh, wow. You don't know what it is, but this tiny little hobbit, as she runs, the, just the, the amount of faith that she has in, in how scary she is, like, resonates in the world. And it's like, you know, I, yeah! <laughs> and it's almost laughable, except it's kind of scary because it's clear that she has absolute faith that she can do this. And the wolves... Take one look at this tiny screaming cannonball coming towards them, and they run, howling over the uh, into the distance. Yeah, you better run, leaving behind them a pile of half half eaten bodies and dead horses, and you know, smoldering, burning, half burned wagon. You know, is that the, was is the kind wagon, of impressive. Is the wagon still usable? Looking it over. The, the, oh the, no! The, oh no! Okay, so it doesn't look like we could like still use part of it. Okay. No. Okay. And the horses are dead, which just kind of sucks. That's but the but people are dead too, which you know sucks to fear those people. Um, I have to go through their pockets. <laughs> and without oh. any concern whatsoever, <laughs> the Hobbit just starts like rifling through the dead bodies' pockets. <laughs> You know what? Um, F is just going to go stand by where she's rifling through the pockets and she's okay. just going to like stand there in the middle of it all, put her battle axe away and start looking at the map. Hmm. Where, where, where uh, just, just a reminder, because there was a question in chat. Uh, our captain is a they them pronoun. Ah, yes. Yes. Me? Is it they them her? No. Uh, they, them. I don't know what I am yet. They, uh, okay. So I, <laughs> while that's happening, I'm just going to look up at our Goliath and uh, if someone could just describe what the hell is going on, <laughs> I'm hearing yelling. I'm smelling burning. We're not really moving. Discuss. Uh, they're merchants. They're dead. And there were wolves. Oh, the wolves are gone. Yeah, they're cowards. Fuck, fuck you, wolves. They I, and then you hear that, that echoed from above as your parrot comes flying back down to land on the edge of the ruins of the wagon. Fuck you! Yeah! Fuck you! <laughs> so, we found uh, dead people. And, and horses. Well, that's a bummer. Um, <laughs> as, is there anything that shows which direction the the looters may have gone are there footsteps are there can we see uh, goliath my, my dude you're very tall are they going after are they are they we're going after okay um those if are you looking uh, uh stoner looking okay roll yeah, me a survival check oh, oh. for tracking okay. Okay, 12 plus zero i got a 12. okay um 
it's kind of a mess and you're not really good at tracking and so you really don't know. F, are you trying to look to see which way the looters went to? Yeah, and I'm kind of trying to correlate that with where the map is directing us. Okay, roll me a survival check. Okay, we'll see if that actually works. Uh, 11. I actually yeah. do have a plus two, but no. <laughs> yeah, well, no, it's as best of you know. You can't really, t the, the site's so messed up. And the wolves left so many tracks around, it's really kind of hard to tell. And bite marks. You and know. bite marks and stuff, yeah. and blood and fire, and there's ashes and stuff. And, and Shauna, you find as you, as you in the pot, oh, hey, there's um, three gold amongst all of the merchants here. Clearly, whatever was of real value got taken already. I um, And tucked, I mean, how thoroughly are you searching? Um, I, rolled, I rolled an 18. Okay, so the Hobbit, you guys see, and this may be why this, you know, the checking for the tracks and stuff is not working so well, because the Hobbit is like actually almost undressing the corpses to get every last little pocket, and finally you have half-naked corpses there, and but you do find in one of them, uh, wow, damn it, you're glad you can't see this. You know, sometimes it's a benefit. Uh -huh. And then, but tucked, it was it was clearly close to one of them's heart, and he was stabbed in the back, so it didn't ruin this. Is as a small picture huh. of somebody. I'd say it's like a a, a woman and a few children. Oh, mm. meh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. But you know that this is in the path from the direction that you're going, uh, according to the map. So. Um, I'm going to do another, I guess, sniff check or some, some form of perception just to see which way uh, our assailants may have gone. That could work for a lot of things. <laughs> it, it could. It probably won't work for this at a 12. Oh. Um, no. Uh, our, Smell the uh, Stoner, are you still holding Dammit or did you set her down? Um, I mean, I guess it's up to Dammit. Dammit wants down to go poke around. But, uh, but yeah, I don't have any problems. She, she was yeah. like... She I think like now, uh, I think it would be like a, I got nothing. Put me down. Put me down. <laughs> oh, 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 set it down. So I'll set it down now. Okay. And now I will. Yeah. Okay. So damn it starts carefully making her way, feeling around the campsite and sniffing. Roll me another perception check. Do, 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 do. Ooh, everybody. Ah, that one's a 21. There you go. As in being closer to the to the ground and where the tracks are, you smell, you can smell the wet dog wolf smell. You can smell the smell of blood. You can smell this. Oh, there's more of a, it smells a lot like the waitress, but not exactly. But it's heading off in the, in that direction. In what ways does it smell like her? In what ways does it not smell like her? Like maybe that it's a, a similar kind of um, race. Okay. And it's going uh, off that direction. Uh, what was what was the race of the of the dog woman in the in the tavern? She wasn't think, actually a dog. She a knoll, I think. A knoll. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm smelling something like a knoll, um, heading about. About that way. Hmm. And damn it, gestures in directly the direction that the map would be well, leading you. The map says to go there, so let's go there. All right. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I got the map. The <laughs> Apparently, you're the turret. <laughs> so Storner comes and picks you up and sits you on his shoulder. Perfect. <laughs> Which puts you, at, since he's at eight feet tall, and you're five feet tall, so that's another three feet. So you're about 11 feet in the air now. Great. Right. Right. All the way there, up there. You said you want to go up there? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you sure? You're sure? And I'm going to go to grab her, or them? Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to fight you. Oh, oh. Fight, but get out of here. All right. I, 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 I respect the boundaries. Respect the boundaries. Good question. Okay, I'm going there. 
this holds this fabric on this merchant here do you think it's salvageable no there's a lot of blood there nah whatever it just adds character so we got we got places to be fine <laughs> we'll find better stuff yeah well, we will yeah okay let's go okay and you guys <laughs> head off across the plains leaving the wagon and the dead bodies behind uh, with a with a sentimental photo of a wife and lovely children discarded into the pile of blood and water where it has become ruined a great zoom out <laughs> yeah as the camera zooms out and our party heads off into the distance following the map <laughs> Map. We're going the distance. <laughs> We're going the distance. And you guys travel for a little while without incident, um, following the map, following the map. And then you realize that that line on the map that seemed to indicate like a, a stair step, actually, you almost, in fact, F, roll me a perception check. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, not too bad. Dirty 20. Yay. All right. So F you doesn't get F'd because as you get to the edge of the, the cliff face, you manage to see it just in time and stop. Oh, 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 oh. oh. It just kind of <laughs> came out of nowhere. You couldn't really even see it until you were right on it. You know how sometimes that happens? Oh, so okay. that's what the map meant. Oh, okay. What is that? Got it. What did the map mean? What do you mean? It had these step things on it, and I think that meant there was a cliff, and yeah, I almost went over it. So, don't go over the cliff. Go oh, over the <laughs> That Is would there... be bad. <laughs> I can't heal you from that. Um, well, since we're at a, at a literal cliff face, can I just, like, take my good old sniffer and try to see if I can catch null sniffs again? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Um, from up where uh, you are, way up in the air, roll me a perception check with advantage. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Advantage. Yeah. <laughs> Seven and 17, so another 21. Woo! Um, cool. Yeah, it still seems to be this way, only it's definitely much more concentrated. And it does seem lower to the ground, like as the fact that you're higher is actually becoming a disadvantage now for mm. sniffing. Mm. So... If in fact it is lower to the ground, do we think that this person may be down the side of the cliff face? Or can I have a look around and see if there is a way to get down this cliff face or if there are like cave entrances or anything like that? Okay, as you lean over the cliff, very you lean over, carefully, very carefully, <laughs> and you look down and it is quite a long ways. There's a little vertigo that happens Ooh. there for just a moment. Okay. But you do see that there is a little zigzaggy path that goes right down the cliff. The path's only about this wide. Oh. Clearly something with fairly good de dexterity goes down this thing and up Ooh. it. But it is there. There is a path that zigzags down the side that could get you down to the bottom. Hmm. Well, there's a path, but I don't know how likely we are to be able to get past it mm. you Maybe. want me to go down and see if there's another way sure it looks what? like you could probably make that path a lot easier than the rest of us so like mm -hmm. ice in the path no it's just narrow and you'll notice as you're looking over the edge and you sit you turn to see it oh down in the pit there seems to be something that looks like a waterway and something that looks like large ruins of some sort. If I find any treasure, I'm keeping it. That I tracks. No, if I get to it first. That's three to 23. <laughs> to try and not die. <laughs> okay. Yep. So you head down the path there, Roberts? Yep. All right. And you rolled your um, dexterity check? Yep, I rolled a natural twenty. It's re it's uh, it's replacing all of the ones and zeros that you got for the rest of the time. Yeah, <laughs> only okay. extremes for Shauna. Only extremes. <laughs> Everybody but damn it sees the uh, the Hobbit deftly make her way saunter down the path like she's not afraid of all. Of course, she's only three feet tall, so a path that's this wide for you guys is like this wide for her. Um, 
And she just heads on right on down, and that is where we will end the game tonight. All right, all right. All right. All right. We've split that. the party. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> We've yeah. split it in a way that the, we can wave at the party as it passes by. As it passes by. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> party! <laughs> <laughs> all right well next time nice knowing you captain <laughs> next time we find out what's at the bottom of this uh this oh, mm -hmm. can we join them <laughs> we're gonna find out maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> Ooh, i have a plan for that and it involves the little sticky stick Ooh. little sticky stick but my little, little like the poker. Uh, I keep poker, thank you. I, like, I, I liked sticky stick because I could not think of poker. Sticky, sticky stick, stick is better. It's like a sticky stick. <laughs> like my crowbar sticky stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, it's, like, uh, it's like what the, the Spice Girls were talking about. They really, really wouldn't want a sticky stick. Uh. <laughs> That's right? a great out. That's a perfect uh, out. Yeah. That's a perfect out. <laughs> yeah, not no. Bye, everybody. Thanks for coming. Bye bye. <laughs> See you next week. Ah! I'm gonna go. <laughs> the miser lives for the joy gold gives, and the farmer for his field. The lover prays for a pretty face, and the beggar for a meal. But you and I know our hearts cry for bold adventures deeds. So come, come along and sing a song, and let's see where it leads. The miser lives for the joy gold gives, and the farmer for his field. The miser lives for the joy gold gives, and the farmer for his field. The lover lives for the joy gold gives, and the farmer for his fields. The lover lives for the joy gold gives, and the farmer for his fields. So come along and sing a song, and let's see where it leads. So come along and sing a song, and let's see where it leads. The lover prays for a joy face, and the beggar for his fields. So come along and sing a song, and let's see where it leads. So come along and sing a song, and let's see where it leads. So come along and sing a song, and let's see where it leads. So come along and sing a song, and let's see where it leads. <laughs>